Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a very exciting video for you. I'm doing an unboxing now art package swap with Hollybeds Beauty. So we decided to do a now art swap. So we both bought separate things of what we love and we use quite a lot. And we decided what we'd do is we'd give them to each other. So we set a budget in place, although I'm pretty sure we both went over. Um, we set a date and we've set a time to up both upload. So I'll link her YouTube channel, Instagram, all of that good jazz down below so you can check her out. Here's my hand for comparison absolutely massive I'm, i've just put this over my address and the sender address because obviously i don't want you to come to my house or go to holly's um but let's get into this and i'm gonna open up and we'll see what's inside okay so i've just ripped off all the addresses so you can't sneakily stalk us both but let's open the box as you can see it's completely unopened so i have no idea what is inside please excuse my terrible fake tan as well tried a new one out not a lover Let's take a first sneak peek at what we've got inside. Oh, how exciting. Okay, so it's a really cute note. I wish I thought of this idea. It's so cute. Right, so I'm gonna list down, go down to the list, um, but I'll read it out to you. So at first it's Hannah, it's finally to do it on our swap box and I'm so excited. I thought I'd make a little list of everything inside your box and why. Hopefully you'll think some of the goodies are clever, funny, but I've also included some of my now favourites and must-haves, which you must already have doubles of. Love in crying face. Sorry if you can hear the rain. It's quite loud in my salon. So here goes. Obviously not in any order, so have a good rummage, then read this after for my explanations as to why. Okay, so I'm going to read that after, and let's have a rummage. Can you hear that rain? Welcome to England. Sorry, my um, phone camera stand has snapped, so I can't actually hold it properly and every time I knock it just slightly it moves. Okay, so she just told me to rummage, so I will and then we'll go through after. So first thing is these makeup accessory sponges, which are very useful. You can do all different techniques with these by like breaking them and dabbing them, using them for chrome, which is pretty cool. These always come in handy and you get 24 in this pack. Thank you, Holly. I won't be saying that all the way through. We'll just make that clear. Next thing, a lint roller for stamping. These are always perfect to have in the collection. I was gonna put one of these in hers, but I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know how often she stamps or if she'll even use it. So I'll put that in there. Oh, where do I go next? A little scrubby brush, which is perfect. I'll just touch the camera up, very sorry. As you can see, it's this gorgeous green colour. Always good for getting all of that dust off in between the nails after you've finished your prep. Oh, and another one, a lovely blue colour. Very nice. God. Then we've got this beautiful selection of glitters. Oh, here goes the camera. I will get this sorted for my next video. I'm just going to open them up. So first... We've got this, let me put the camera, the light over, this beautiful like coppery gold. This will be perfect for Christmas nails. I absolutely love it. Then I've got this orange. It's a lot more orange off camera than it is shown. It's shown a bit more yellowy. But you can see you've got the big chunky flecks and then you've got the little ones. Love it, that's gonna be perfect for summertime. Then I've got this beautiful, pinky rosy gold with all these holo holographic different colours inside. I don't know if you can see, you've got the big chunks inside the glitter. I love it. Then I've got another rose goldy type of colour. It's a lot chunkier than the other one and it's a lot more rosy compared to the actual um, coppery gold. It's not even copper, it's more of a yellowy. I don't know why I said copper. I love it. 
And then I got these lovely letters that are silver and holographic. I don't have anything like this, so this will be pretty cool to use. They did explode everywhere, all over me and the bag. Um, I don't know quite what happened there. Maybe I had a very cheery postman this morning. But I'll pick all those up and I'll fill up this little pot again. But thank you. I've got another little bag of goodies. Oh, I love glitter so much. I literally am the glitter queen. If you come to me for your nails, you'll realise I have literally everything. Ooh, so I've got these kind of like iridescent hearts. I love them. I use like iridescent stars a lot. So it'd be pretty cool to have these hearts in my collection. Oh, little tiny stars. They're a lot smaller than the stars I've already got. I can hear the rain again. Um, so it'll be cute to use these little small ones with the big ones. I feel like I'll be able to make a really good set of nails with those. I've got these like holographic shapes. So you've got like little stars and hexagons and then like little tiny hexagons, which is really cute. And then we've got this beautiful pink holographic glitter. You've got the chunky glitters and then the smaller glitters inside. I love this because it just shines every colour that you could think of. Then I've got this just plain powder and I'm pretty sure because I watch Holly's Instagram stories all the time. This might uh, glow in the dark activated by UAV so I'm just going to pop it in my lamp and we'll test it out. Let me turn my light off. Just as I expected. Look at that beautiful glow in the dark. The activated powder that's glow in the dark. It's a beautiful blue. Obviously, you can't see it in the light. Ooh, and then I've got some little strawberries. I don't own any shapes. I actually ordered some off AliExpress a very long time ago, and they never showed up, so I'm so excited. I can do, like, milkshake nails now, like Holly did. I might recreate her milkshake nails. They were pretty cool. Next, I've got this cute little bag. I've got this non-cleansing top coat. Mmm, is it just a normal top coat? It would help if I can open it. Yeah, it looks like just a normal top coat. But you, honestly, you can never have too many top coats because I always am running out because I always seem to only have one top coat at a time and I do everyone's nails with that one top coat, including my own and swatches. Ooh, spider gel. Metallic champagne. I don't own any spider gels. Um... Oh, <laughs> I was like waiting for the big reveal. <laughs> Let me just open this. Look at that beautiful colour. I've never tried this stuff before, so I'm so excited to use it. I might try it on my nails, because I've just got like this, like, I don't know what you call it, like chromey flakes. I'm so excited. I've never had spider gel before. Thank you, Holly. And then I've got two little pin badges, which will work on my little work apron. I have a little pug. So cute. And I know Holly has a pug and I want a pug very bad. But my boyfriend's like, no, not yet. Wait till we've moved out. And then it will cat because I have kitty cats. So I'm gonna put them on my work apron. Tassimo. So I reckon Holly's seen the fact that I've got a Tassimo machine in my salon. Um, and it's the time of year for hot chocolate and I love Oreos, so I love it. Oh god, we got a lot of stuff in this box. Looks like I've got a size 10 acrylic brush. So Holly doesn't do acrylic, she uses, uses hard gel and gel. Whereas I use acrylic and gel polish. Um, I do want to do a hard gel course, but it's just having the time and money. But I'm so excited, thank you for that. Oh, something's all wrapped up. I feel like I already know what this is and this makes me very excited. Oh god, I've got something up in the camera. Moira Stampin' Polish. I can't get hold of this anywhere. I've tried and tried and it's black. And I eventually got the grey one, which is okay. But it's not... I'd rather black because black takes on the full colour. But now I have it. Whoop, whoop. How exciting. Yeah. So 
at the next thing. Oh my god, cuticle oil. You literally can't go wrong. I oh lemon yellow. I'm gonna have a little whiff. Oh that's so nice. I currently at the minute using the magpie one. Um it's good to try a new one, so once I finish this, I'm going to use this one and give it a whirl, see what my clients think of it. I can see two polishes, and I presume they are a top coat and a base, rubber base, and this one doesn't actually tell me, unless I'm being blind. Oh yes, I'm being blind. <laughs> High Shine Non White Top Coat from Premier Gel, and I actually use this brand, so that's pretty cool to... Um, be able to have in my collection so thank you oh a little palette how funny obviously this won't be uploaded until holly's already opened her box so i got holly one of these but in pink and it's exactly the same it's got like the same like little crystal effect because i use these all the time and they're my absolute favorite because it's just so easy to maybe i should I use these all the time, they're my absolute favourite because they're so easy just to blob a bit of colour on and mix them and add a bit of glitter. So, and my ones are always dirty, so it's always handy to have spares, so I'm so pleased that I got one of these. Thank you. Oh my lord. Lint free melt blow nail wax. So, it's the standard, we all need lint free wipes in our lives can't stand all the fluff these are perfect i'm so happy i've got another pack of these can't go wrong with these Ooh, yes i've got some gel nail art brushes this is pretty cool because you can do different size flowers and leaves and all patterns with these and that you can never have too many nail art brushes but i've got a pot here and they're always oh god there's always room for more as you can see they get very dirty easy and I've got plenty of space in my little pot for more brushes. Oh, look at that. How exciting. I think this is to put my stamp in. Stamp in. Plates in. This is to put my stamp in plates in. Let me have a little look. Oh God, if I can get it open. Yes, it is. Oh, no, wait. Now, this is for my foils. And due to, I tell you what, I've just bought this off AliExpress for my stamping plates. And it's big enough for sections to hold 16 of them. I thought I'd give it a go to see if I like it. And they match, but I don't have anything for my uh, foils. They just, they literally just stay in their little baggies, which stay in my um, drawer. So it'll be really handy to be able to just come in here and look at the colours. So thank you. So you can't be a stamper. I literally use stamping all the time and you have to pick up your pattern and just see straight through and pop it on your nail. Um, again, stampers get so dirty and messy very quickly because you're using them all the time. You're good to have loads in your collection. I've got little ones, fat ones, big ones, small ones, because if you've got client after client, sometimes you don't have the time to just clean them all. So it's good to just pick up another, add more dirty ones to the collection and clean them all together. So I'm so happy I've got another one of those. And it's kind of like a little scraper, which again, is they get dirty very quickly. And it's got these cute little Christmas patterns on. I love them. Oh my god, look at these foils that she's got me. So these are going to go in my new foil folder. Didn't even know what to call it because I don't even own one. I'm so happy that I do. I've got all these beautiful colours. Look at, look at the shine on them. Look at the shine. So I'm going to fill that up straight after this video before my next client comes. I'm so happy with them because you can't have too much foil. And I don't actually own a lot of foil. Um, because again, it just caused such a problem in my um, drawers because I didn't have anywhere to put them, but now I do. And 
And last but not least, I got this hair bonding glue. So Holly uh, sent me a link to a video where you can use this like um, the Stamping Queen Stick It. I now have Stick It because it restocked what while we were doing this but this is a good alternative to be able to just paint on what you need and use your foils or your chromes or anything and I can imagine um, when I'm practicing stuff I'm not going to want to waste this so this will be always good to just use just to practice on like my own nails or nail pops or anything like that but I'm so happy with all the bits I got so I'm just going to lay everything out and I'm going to go through the list with you and all her funny little reasons why she bought me what okay I've tried to get everything in the video screen i use my phone to video at the moment so apologies oh no wait wait wait, wait. and these but i'm not going to be able to fit them in so i'm going to pop them to the side but i think i've managed to get everything in if i haven't i apologize my salon's a mess at the moment but i'm going to go through her list so it says so here goes obviously it's not in order but have a good rummage i've already read that so first now what palette one of my favorite now what palettes that look gorge on my nail table so obviously you need one too but that's obviously my beautiful palette which i'm going to open and i'm going to use this on my next client so as you can see you've got like the geode effect and it's got the nice gold and you can use both sides and i always use both sides but i love it and it does look beautiful and it matches with my salon too My favourite lint-free wipes, as most of, as most are a pain in the ass, but these ones are heavenly. Oh, I look forward to giving these ones a try. I'm messing everything up now. I um, I must say I haven't used lint-free wipes in a while because um, I just it's so easy to use cotton pads and the fluff gets everywhere. So this will be really, I'm really intrigued to see if these are going to change my application and everything. And I'll give these a go again tonight, which will be pretty cool. Free. Premier Gel Rubber Base and Extreme Top Extreme No Wipe Top Coat. My absolute staples with gel polish can be used as a base under acrylic. So I just thought it's a, it's bloody fabulous and they are super they are a super value. I feel like you already have these, but have some more. And like I said, I do, but I have the brand anyway, and I love all this stuff. So you can never have too many. Um, oh, knocking everything. You can't have too many bases and top coats. So that's really good. I'll probably keep these as my good ones and I'll use my old ones for glitter. Number four, hair glue. Acts like stick it. It takes a bit of working with, but it's super fun. Even though we both now have stick it lol, always fun to play with stuff. Check out Insta messages for the link to the YouTube video. Like I said earlier, we did discuss like the hair glue and I think I'll give it a go for when I'm practicing so I don't use all my stick it. Not that I think I'll ever use the whole jar, but this will be good to use and have a go with. Um, but I'm not sure how my design's going to turn out. So this will be amazing. Five, jelly stamper and scraper. Because there's nothing fresher than a new jelly stamper. Who even is that? Okay, my jelly scraper. Whoa. Okay, my jelly scraper. I've obviously put it somewhere. Um, it couldn't have gone far because I haven't moved from this spot. But I don't have it right now. Um, but again, you can't have too many scrapers. Especially when some of them look like mine. Like this one, for example, it's well loved. It's got like little, I don't know where you'll be able to see, like little rips in it where I've used it so much. Um, so a brand new one will definitely go down like a tree. A lint roller for your new jelly stamper. So they literally go together perfectly. Drum roll please, the Moira Black, blah, 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 Moira Black foil stamping polish. <laughs> I wanted this for so long so I got myself and grabbed you one too because it's amazing just used it for my snowflake foil and it's bloody great mate I hope you don't already have it and that's funny because I don't I have the grey and it's not amazing I don't know if I just don't know how to use it or because it's the grey so I'm really excited the fact that I have the black so thank you so much number 50 50 new foils a cute little selection for you 50? bloody hell I knew there was a load, but I'm so excited to see all the colours. For your new... Oh, God. Sorry, that's a lighting problem. Um, for your new Now Full album, which is silver and so cute, I got myself the same one because I'm obsessed. And like I said earlier, this is perfect because they literally all just sit in my tra uh, in my drawer. I kid you not. 
like this in little bags. Oh, not that. Like this in little bags. So I'm really glad that I've got that now to put them all in and it will look cute. So when I'm going through with my clients, I can just flip through the colours and say which colour do you think will go best. We can put the nails next to it. And it's holographic. Number 10, two new nail dust brush. My fave type to use as they're like a massive toothbrush and brilliant. Again, you might already have them. And no, I don't. I currently use the Magpie duster brush and I do really like it. But sometimes where I'm doing nails mobile, doing my friends, doing my mum's, doing mine in my room, I don't always have them in here, which is really naughty of me. Um, but these are the ones that I normally use. So it'd be handy to have these two and they are big. So they might be... I'm going to test out to see if they work better. So thank you for those. Uh, spider gel in a super gorgeous champagne colour. It's stunning. Love a spider gel set and love this. So got you one for your box of joy. That's so exciting. No, not that. I've never used one before, so I'm really excited. That's the brand. To see how this works. Glitter doubles I have sitting in my collection, including the new glow and dark pigment I had in my moon. I had on my moon now on my story. Letters a magpie double of Victoria, the pot with the blue dot on top, and some other randoms. Oh, so that's exciting! I don't actually own that glitter. So that's a magpie one. Ooh, I love it. I love glitter. Any form, any brand, any. I mean, magpie. You can't go wrong. Magpie are the best, but I will use any brand. Strawberries from my latest Insta post of my milkshake nails. Potted some for you to try because they are so cute. I don't know if I'm reading that right. So you can fall through. Through them and they are still red inside if that makes sense. Easy to get the bumps out after encapsulating. Cuticle oil, my fave scent and brand and I literally have every scent. I get them off eBay and they're just brilliant. Oil and the lemon, brilliant oil and the lemon one is so refreshing. Acrylic brush. I know you use acrylic, so this little pink brush I just thought was a bit of you. I love it. Again, I use, um, I have all different acrylic brushes, but sometimes you just, you can't beat a new one. So I'm very excited to try. Fresh purple nail brushes. Now these are just a set of cheapies, but I swear by them. They are so handy for all things glitter and nail art related. I love them for applying the cuticle oil I got you. Pop some on the nail art plate, dip your brush in and get right in those cuticles. Makeup sponges. Don't be confused. These are not for your face. These are my must have for chroming. Less of these little makeup applicators. Try a sponge. It will change your life. Mm. And I do use these. So I'd be really interested to see how they change my life. I'm excited. Can you know white top coat for chroming? It's not a special one, but it's my favourite for chroming on top of cure for 20 seconds, then grab a makeup sponge and away you go. Plus it's £3.75, so a bloody bargain, mate. That's why I've got this. Oh I'm so excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna chrome it now and try it because I feel like I need to. I spied a Tasmo in your beauty room. <laughs> How funny because I said that. So enjoy some Oreo hot chocolates for your clients. I thought this was a cute added extra. Didn't know if you're a coffee woman. I'm a bit gel, I must say. Let me know how they are. Number 20. I saw your adorable cat and found a pin badge that looks just like him. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> pin badge too. I'm a pug obsessed woman. And you know about my baby called Eugene. Soon to be big brother to another baby baby girl pug. So got it as a reminder that we're now, now tech besties, of course. Oh, I love that so much. I feel like... Where I've jumped into the now art world, I haven't really clicked with anyone, but me and Holly just, we chat near enough every day and we just always have a good laugh. And we've done this together and I'm so happy. P.S. I went a bit mental, so my apologies. I feel, I feel bad, I don't know. She's outdone me. She's outdone me, like look at that little cute guy. Oh, I'm gonna name him Eugene and he's gonna go on my little apron. Ta-da, that's all for your swap box. I really hope you like what I've included. Can't wait for us to send them off and upload to YouTube. Eek! You have for sure started a trend. Thanks so much for doing this with me. Enjoy your goodies and send and see you on the flip side, Instagram, because this is how we talk. Holly and Eugene. I love it. Well, thank you so much for all of my goodies. I've made my salon an absolute mess and I've got a client in 20 minutes, so I best speed up and sort all this out. 
But thank you so much. I love everything. I'm going to drop you a message anyway. But I just can't wait to use it all. But yeah, if you'd like to check out Holly's Instagram or YouTube, I'll link her down below. Please watch her video. She's going to upload uh, the video of her box swap that I gave her. Um, there is a few things still on order on their way, which is very frustrating. But I didn't want to miss our date that we agreed on because it worked well for both of us. Um, but I'll just send them at a later date. But I hope this will... I hope we will remain friends forever and I'm sure I'll send her more boxes or more little gifts at Christmas and birthdays and all stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Check out my Instagram. I'll link it down below. Um, I uploaded these now but they were super long and I had to cut them down because I can't type on my phone. Um, so I cut them down. Um, but please keep commenting, keep liking, keep watching. Uh, it really means the world to me. So thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.